All right, welcome back everyone. We're gonna move uh, move along here on our fraction learning journey here. And we're gonna do a little bit more work today with mixed numbers and improper fractions. And it's just so a little, little comic here and we have two characters saying, one says, I have seven quarters of pizza. And the other one says, I have one and three quarters of pizza. And how are they related? And again, I wanna apologize about the way I'm presenting my fractions in this text format. This is really how it should be looking and uh, I think you guys can handle it but just want to make that clear okay so the goal today is to learn how to convert between an improper fraction and a mixed number and so we're going to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions first and we're gonna do two and three quarters and I'm going to show a variety of different methods that you can use and I have one I recommend uh, for each each way so going from to a mixed number and going to an uh, improper fraction so one way is you could think about money and if we have two and three quarters uh, perhaps you could think of it this way I have two and a quarter literally means a quarter because there's four of them in a dollar okay two and three quarters and how many do we have all together well I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And if there is uh, four in a dollar, I have eleven quarters. And it literally, that's what you're saying, eleven quarters. And I do have eleven quarters sitting there. Okay, so you could use money. And now that's not always going to work if you're not using with quarters. But if you are dealing with quarters, um, and when I talk about quarters, I'm talking about the denominator of a four, then that will work great. Um, you could use a diagram, okay? And here's two and three quarters, okay? And what you could do is um, you could divide all those into those holes into four, and again, you can count how many are there: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I have eleven quarters, okay? That's another option. Or you could use mental math. And here I have Nathan, the mental math wizard, riding his, his training wheeled bike. And he is saying, I know that there are four quarters in one hole. So in two holes, there are two times four equals eight quarters. Eight quarters plus three, more quarters, equals 11 quarters. So that means two and three quarters is the same as 11 quarters. We're getting that same answer quite a bit there. Um, but here's the method I recommend. This is Mr. Hardy recommends. There is a way of doing this where you don't have to necessarily do a bunch of mental, well, we can do mental math, but we don't have to, you know, reason it out here. And that is a process where we multiply one step and we add. So we're always going to multiply the denominator by the, mic, you know, the whole number. So that's two, t so four times two, and that is an eight. And we're always going to then add the top number. So plus 3 is 11. And we always keep the same denominator. So we have 11 quarters. That's the way I recommend. So again, multiply here and then add the numerator. And that will get your numerator in your, in your improper fraction. And then just keep the same denominator. Now what if we're going to a mixed number? And so we're going from an improper fraction of 13 fifths to a mixed number. A few different ways and what I recommend. So you could draw a diagram, okay? And I hope that uh, that dark color is showing up. We have um, five equal pieces here. So that's a one piece, two, three, four, and five, okay? And you can see here that if I have uh, well, I guess we can keep going 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I have 13, and there's two whole ones here. There's one, two, and that means I have two. And how many pieces? One, two, three left over, and there's five in a whole, two and three fifths. Okay? But again, I recommend. Um, just trying to um, multiply here and, and so what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna multiply this denominator guess and check in a way 
as high as I can get before I go over the number 11. So uh, in my head, I could do, well, three times two is six. I can get more in there. Uh, three times three is nine. Could I do three times four? That's 12, no, it's too high. So I can get to three times three, and there'll be two left over. Okay, I'm gonna get you guys to try this one. I want you to change 17 fifths, and I'll write that a little bit easier for you. 17 fifths, and I want you to change it into a mixed number. It means there's a whole number, and we have a numerator and a denominator here. So maybe I'll just put some boxes here. Okay, you try that out. Okay, so again, we want to multiply, and I'm gonna do it the way I, I like. I'm gonna multiply this five as many times as I can before I go over 17. So five times one is five. So five times one is five. Five times two is 10. Five times three is 15. I don't think I can go any higher, okay? So that means I have three, three holes. Well, if I had 15 and I have a 17 numerator, that means 17 minus 15 means I have two left over. And I'm gonna keep the same denominator, so three and two-fifths is your answer. Let's go the other way. Let's move Let's move this th mixed number, three and seven-eighths, into an improper fraction. You try it out. Okay, so remember I said uh, we want to multiply here and then add here. So three times eight is 24. And then I'm going to add that numerator plus seven. 24 plus 7 is 31. And I keep the same denominator, so it's 31 eighths altogether. So that's it. So we're going from improper fraction to mixed number and back again. And this is something we use in every day. And just uh, I think you guys can do well on this. So, all right, that's it. Mm -hmm.